everyone welcome back to my channel it's Janet and if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video and if you're one of my returning subscribers thank you so much for being here I appreciate you all for liking sharing and commenting on all of my videos so thank you so much and welcome back to my channel all right, today I am going to be sharing with you what I eat on a protein sparing modified fast day today. So what I have done already this morning is I had put an elk roast in the slow cooker. So I had marinated the elk roast um, a couple of days prior. I just kind of put a mixture of some uh, Worcestershire sauce, some spices and seasonings, nothing major that would contain carbs or hinder a protein sparing modified fast day at all. And then I put it in the slow cooker this morning along with some, um, like some beef broth in order just a little bit just to keep it nice and moist and I'm going to cook that all day today and that is what's going to be for supper so stay tuned for that and also this morning I am going to have my coffee but as you guys know on protein sparing modified fast days I have my coffee a little bit different and since it has been cooler here the last few days today I'm going to have a hot coffee so let's get started on that and let's see how I make my coffee on a protein sparing modified fast day all right so I have warmed up my water in the microwave for two minutes and you guys already know that I have been addicted to instant coffee I started it last summer and I am still addicted to it. So I just get these from the dollar store here in Canada, but I add two to three teaspoons of that, depending on how strong I want it. I'm gonna do about two and a half, I think, today. And then I give that a good stir. And then I add my two sweeteners. I also get these from the dollar store. Feel free to use anything that you like. I've just been using these for so long. I like the taste it gives. I have tried the Stevia ones before, but I don't like the after taste that it gives me with my coffee. So I just stick with these ones. And then I also am going to use a half a scoop of chocolate um, perfect keto collagen. This is my favorite collagen. I explain how good this is for overall health um, my husband has been taking it as well he gets the unflavored my favorite I would have to say is the cinnamon toast I need to get a refill on that but um, I do like uh, the chocolate because I do make a mocha with the chocolate so I'm going to add my peppermint bark for my skinny syrups And then lately what I've been having, which my friend Kelsey has let me know about, is the Silk Half and Half. So on my protein sparing modified fast days, I don't have any heavy whipping cream um, because obviously it's high in fat. So lately what I've been having is this Half and Half and it fits my macros really, really well. I'm allergic to all nuts, so hence why I can't have any like macadamia nut or any other kind of creamer um, so I've been sticking with this silk and I'm going to use two tablespoons of that and then I just have a little frother on the side of my coffee maker that I will be using to mix all of this together to get it all nice and frothy so I'm going to do that and then enjoy my nice cup of coffee I will have the macros with the calories and the total carbs on the screen usually my protein sparing modified fast days I have been doing total carbs all right everyone my coffee is so nice and frothy and let's give it a taste and see how it is oh <laughs> this is like Christmas in a cup I'm telling if you guys haven't been having the skinny syrups, you need to get on that. I'm pretty sure everybody has, but I get mine usually from um, Winners, which is like a TJ Maxx in the States, or else Marshalls as well. They carry a huge variety, especially now that it's coming fall. They will be having some pumpkin flavors. I do carry quite a bit of flavors already, and um, the Christmas flavors probably will be coming out soon. But I will show you what flavors I have maybe in this video. Um, but it definitely helps with your coffee, your baking. I use it for a wide variety of things and it is zero everything. So I'm just going to enjoy my coffee on this gloomy day and uh, we will see you guys in the next clip. 
All right, this is my little coffee bar that I created just in our dining room. Um, so it has our coffee maker. I always have this coffee maker linked in the description. I bought it off of Amazon, it's a Ninja. It makes amazing coffee. Um, and then I just kind of decorated this little nook here for our little coffee bar. But I wanted to show you guys all the skinny syrups that I have. So I have quite a collection, um, but whenever there's new flavors come out, I'm definitely guilty of <laughs> buying new ones. Um, so I have the pumpkin caramel. I have butter toffee. You guys know I always like things that are like caramel or vanilla. And this is a peppermint sugar-free one. And vanilla, which is my classic flavor. Peppermint bark, that's what I use today with my coffee. And then I also have Christmas cookie. Salted caramel mocha. S'mores flavor. Caramel. And then these I bought in a trio pack, these little ones. So this is pumpkin cinnamon roll. Pumpkin caramel scone. And maple donut. I'm not sure if I've even had any of these three smaller ones yet. I think I bought them kind of at the end of the season last year and never tried them. And then this is my Walden Farms caramel syrup that I use with my coffee sometimes. I also use it on top of like my waffles or pancakes, um, but most of the time I've been using it for my coffee lately. And then you guys already know I love my instant coffee. And then I also have uh, decaf coffee right here, which I sometimes like to have in the evening time, um, especially in the winter time. I find myself just wanting something hot in the evening time, so I'll have um, a decaffeinated collagen coffee. These are the sweeteners that I use. Like I mentioned, I just buy them from the dollar store. I like them. I've been using them for over a year now. And this is the collagen like I had showed you when I made my coffee. It is the chocolate right now, but I definitely um, do want to get the cinnamon toast, which is my favorite. So that is it for my skinny syrups, and I'm sure probably there'll be some new flavors and I'll have to try them for sure, but I do use a lot of these, like especially the vanilla. This one here is a new vanilla because I went through the whole bottle already, but um, for the most part, I use these almost on a daily basis. So highly recommend you guys um, go down to your Winners or TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They have a huge selection for really, really good prices. I realized that I am out of my protein sparing modified fast bread. I had taken out two slices out of the freezer, but I think it's my strawberry loaves that I had made for my protein sparing modified fast days. Um, I will link that recipe here if you haven't seen that when I make um, some strawberry loaves for my protein sparing modified fast days. They're amazing, so I'm gonna have that I think maybe for dessert but I'm just gonna make a quick loaf of the protein spraying modified fast bread and I'm also going to make a mini loaf garlic bread. So I'm not gonna add too, too much butter. Um, I'm gonna make it fit in my macros. I know Maria Emmerich has mentioned on your protein spraying modified fast days to not have dairy. Now, I still have a little bit of dairy. It's hardly a lot. It's in the sense of like a butter um, I usually stay away from the cheeses, yogurts, and all of that on my protein days, but I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to this just to get that flavoring, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So let's get started on making that. Um, I will actually link um, the recipe that I always use down below in the description. Hands down, my favorite, favorite recipe. So easy, turns out amazing, isn't dry, so I will always have that linked in the description. So let's get started.
so this is my bread out of the oven this is my little tiny mini loaf of the garlic bread and then this is my regular loaf so I'm just gonna let that cool for a little bit and then I will take it out and slice it up and have it for the week all right my bread is my bread is all done so this turned out kind of like a smaller loaf loaf actually but the texture and everything is good so what I do is I just put them in baggies I put two slices in each baggie and then I freeze it for my protein spray modified fast days uh, I try to just limit um, one or two slices on my high protein days but sometimes it doesn't always work out that way especially if I'm like don't have anything prepped or haven't been to the grocery store for the meat or anything like that but for the most part I try to make it work but I am going to be having, once again, I'm going to be having a ham sandwich. So I'm just going to put some mustard on that. And I'm actually going to have three slices today because I just had one left over. And this will fit, this will fit my macros today. To have three. And one is just going to be open faced. And then I'm going to just use four slices of the ham that I used earlier in the week. This is just always a good option, um, especially if you're kind of on the go or busy doing other things. Always good just to have some lean deli meat on hand. So I am going to use four slices, two for my sandwich, and then I'll just put two open face that I'll have on this slice of bread. And that is going to be it for meal number one i will have the macros on the screen for the calories and the total carbs all right for my supper i am going to have the elkros that is in the crock pot right now so it should be done fairly soon but i am also going to make this with it which is garlic and herb shrimp it's frozen and you need to cook it frozen like when it's frozen so um, the macros on this are fairly decent i did have a look on it so for eight shrimp is 60 calories 0.5 fat three carbs and 12 grams of protein so really really good macros don't forget about your seafood when you're doing the protein sparing modified fasting days so that is what i'm going to have for supper so let's get started on that the roast is already done we just need to cook our shrimp all right, so I just took a cookie sheet and put some tin foil on top just for easy cleanup. And then let's see, I think I'm gonna cook all of these. I'm not sure how many is in here, but I'm gonna cook them all. And then that way I can uh, have them as leftovers. All right, I've never bought this before, so I'm anxious to see what it is. Oh, okay, it's like full shrimp and shells, so that's cool. So we're just gonna have to put this, I'm putting mine in an oven. So I'm just gonna lay these all on a cookie sheet and then the oven is preheating to 425 and then I'm gonna put them in the oven and it only says for like 10 minutes, so that's perfect. These have been in my freezer for a while but the date is, they're still in date. They don't go off until the 2022 but they're definitely, caked on all right so that is it i'm going to throw those in the oven all right everyone this is going to be my supper tonight i have seven ounces of elk steak and then i have eight pieces of the garlic and herb shrimp that i had cooked in the oven so i will have the macros on the screen for my meal the calories and the total carbs all right, so another thing that I am going to do right now is I'm going to make some of that cinnamon sugar bread that I had made in one of my most recent videos. So I will link that video here if you haven't seen it, but this bread is amazing. It's so moist, it's not dry at all, and I just love the flavoring with the cinnamon sugar throughout the whole entire loaf. I finished that within like a day and a half last time because I ended up having it on my keto day, um, the day after I made it, and I actually put my soya nut butter on it, so 
So I am actually allergic to nuts. I'm allergic to all nuts, so almonds, peanuts, everything. So what I have in replacement is wow butter. So this is a soy nut butter, so it's made out of soy nuts. Now, there is another one that I've tried made out of sunflower seeds, but I tend to like this one a little bit better. I don't use it all the time, but on that day with my keto day, I actually put some of this on, this on that cinnamon sugar bread that I made and it was absolutely delicious. So I think I'm going to make that again. So um, you guys would have seen that video already. And like I said, if you haven't, just head back a couple of videos and watch that. I, are, I have the recipe listed down in the description on that video. So I am going to make some more of that and then I can have it for my protein sparing modified days and also my keto days. It just makes it for a really, really nice dessert. So, um, and also, in lieu of this, you can use peanut butter. So I've never had peanut butter in my whole entire life. I've been allergic to it since I was literally one years old. So I have never even tasted peanut butter or for that matter, any kind of nut butter. So, but feel free to have that cinnamon sugar bread with your favorite nut butter. It is absolutely amazing. You will thank me later. So I'm going to make that. And then I think that is going to be the end of the night. So I am not going to have anything more to eat today. I am actually feeling really full. I always feel full on my protein very modified fast days. Um, I think it's just the amount of protein that I'm getting actually keeps me full for longer, which is always nice. So I think I'm just gonna call her a night and I feel satisfied. I usually always sip on my Diet a w root beer at nighttime after I close my window of eating. So I have been doing a 16 or 18 hour fast, so this will be perfect. It is actually four o'clock, so I am doing my live tonight when I am recording this video. So I am just going to relax, clean up a little bit, and then get ready for that. So hopefully everybody has watched it, and if you haven't seen it, I'm sure it will come up on your feed for YouTube, and you can re-watch it at a later time if you're not able to make the live tonight, but I'm really excited. It's my first live that I will be doing on my YouTube channel. So make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching!